Hello, everyone, and welcome to episode seven of our level one advanced beginner ballet. From my living room to yours, care of Canada's National Ballet School. For those of you who don't know me or haven't watched one of these classes before, my name is Ian Parsons, and it is my great privilege to be a member of the artistic staff at Canada's National Ballet School. So here we are for episode number seven. I know every time we do a higher number, I just think, wow, we've been going on for a very long time, which is very encouraging by the fact that we've had so much support from you, but also a little bit less encouraging because we haven't been able to be together in person in the studio. But I'm very glad to be able to do this with you, at least virtually. So uh, before we get started, again, the music we are using today is by the absolutely, I'm running out of adjectives, Fantastic, wonderful, brilliant, all of the above, uh, Rob Thaller, who I get to work with pretty much every day in the professional ballet academic program at the ballet school when we are in session. So I'm living vicariously until then, listening to uh, recorded versions of his music. Now, before we get started, actually, there's one more thing I have to say before we do our little safety spiel. We're doing something a little bit different starting from this week. Um, I'm very much eager to hear from any of you, and if you want to ask me questions or things like that, whether it's about ballet in general or about your own technique or perhaps something that I mentioned in one of the other classes or maybe even this one, uh, you can email those questions to the following email address. It is adultballet, all one word, at nbs-enb.ca, and I'll tell you that again at the end of the video as well. But if there is a question that you have been absolutely dying to ask, and you must know the answer to it before you start class number seven, feel free to give me a little bit of a pause and write that question, and I'll try and answer it for you on film next week. Finally, our little bit of a safety spiel. Remember, surface, not too slippery, not too sticky. A bar that you can hold on to that's relatively secure. Enough space, spouses, children, etc. are out of the way. And then you're ready to dance. Let's get started. So I know I said last week that I was hoping to ditch the turtlenecks in favor of the t-shirts. And I have today, but I'm filming this on Friday. I know you're going to see this on Tuesday, but as you'll remember, Friday had the lovely polar vortex, which basically brought winter back. So I'm hoping to will spring into existence for us. So, our warm-up. Starting in parallel. This one's a new one, and I'll warn you, it's a little bit long. So we go five, breathe six, and a seven, and eight. We walk through demi point. One, and up, and a down, and four, and a five, six, four slow, seven, and eight, eight double time. One, and two, and a three, and four, and five, and six, and seven, and eight. Put your heel down. Now you move your head, just your head, up, and two, and a down, and four, to the right, five, six, and left, seven, and eight, high left, one, and two, low, that's not left, this is left, and four, as long as you do the opposite, low, and six, and a seven, and eight. So that was up, down, side, side, high diagonal, low diagonal, low diagonal, high diagonal. We go the whole thing again from the other foot. One and two. I'll go a little bit faster, but you won't. Four, a five, and a six, and a seven, and eight. Double time. One and a two, and a three, and a four, and a five, and a six, and a seven, and eight. One and a two, and a three, and a four, and a five, and a six, and a little, 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 little. Yeah. Then you step away from the bar. One, and two, just a comfortable wide second. Three, and four, take a rise, just arms down. Five, and six, and seven, just try and find your zen there. One, and two, 
and three, and a four, coming down, six, that was the easy part. Now stepping to the bar, in first, eight tendu side, alternating legs, right leg, one, and two, and a three, and four, I promise we're almost there, seven, and eight, four more, one and a two, three and a four, five and a six, seven, eight, oh, and then you're finally done. Double time now. Easy walk. But make sure you go through two stretch legs at the height of your releve. Head up. So you should just be moving your head. Try not to bring your shoulders into it if you can. Like I said, pick a direction, as long as you keep alternating. I mean, I'm not there to yell at you. Other leg. Double time. Stepping away, and going up, really try and stay in the middle of that foot, second toes pressing into the floor, coming down, stepping to the bar in first position. as you can down into the floor. So, plies. Starting in first position. We go. Five, six, and seven, eight. Four count demi plie. One, two, spin those legs on the way up. And four, direct to grand plie. Breathe. Five, six, and seven, eight. Plie one. Now, coup de pied devant from plie. Quick two, hold three. And four, tendu five, six, lower, second, eight. Same thing, second position. One, two, coming up, three, and four, and grand plie, and seven, eight, plie, one, coup de pied, two, hold three, Four, tendu front this time, closing fifth and eight. And we repeat the same thing in fifth position. Long demi plie, three, four, grand plie all the way down, six, seven, eight. Same thing, one coup de pied, two, hold three, and four. We tendu side again, five, six, and we return to fifth for our port of our, like we've been doing. Breathe forward, flat back, hold three, and four, 
coming up. Five, six, arm to third. Seven, eight, and back. One, two, recover. Three, four, beautiful. Open the arm. Six, allonge. And eight, to finish. This time we turn to front. Closing fifth. Long demi again. And we're only two exercises into class, and already we've come up with the sledgehammer moment for this week. Yes, you know the bashing you over the head with a concept, which I'm going to do a lot in this particular class for this thing. So, right here, at that moment when you go from plié to coup de pied, I really want you to think that that has the same kind of energy as you would have for those of you who've done any kind of pirouette, whether it be in coup de pied or passé before, where it has to come up with a certain amount of energy. So whether I'm going from first, from fifth, etc., this stretching of this leg and this coup de pied, they have to be very quick and they have to happen totally simultaneously. Right up. And you want to really feel that reach all the way to the ceiling. Put that fish hook in the top of your head and pull yourself up. Ooh, not falling over though. Upwards. Long day. Now find that quickness. Tendu à la seconde. And lower. side once more. Closing fifth front. Long spine. Really pull from the top of that head on the way up. Now, 
moving along to baton tendu. Starting in fifth position, we go five, six, arm to third, eight, coup de pied, one, two, tendu front, four, and five, one, tendu, and seven, change your arm, coup de pied, two, and a three, four, and a close, one, tendu, change your arm to the back, two, and a three, four, and a close, six, and seven, change your arm, now we go tendu side, two, lower, three, four, now you give yourself a really strong push off this foot, you come directly into coup de pied derriere, five, six, and close, guess what, reverse, one, two, and out, four, close, six, seven, change arm, one, two, out, two, close, back, six, seven, change arm, one, two, front, four, yeah, six, seven, change arm, one, two, lower, three, this time you're going coup de pied devant, and the push, six, and seven, eight, to finish. Arm to third, coup de pied. One tendu, change arm. Closing front first, now closing back. Tendu side, lower. Coup de pied derriere, push. Reverse. Oh, I've almost forgot the arm, sorry. Closing back. To third. Tendu side, lower, push coup de pied devant, now in this exercise I really want you to think about how you lift your foot off the floor, yeah so you want to be careful that you don't sort of what I call the perma arch and sort of grip your foot first and then lift it to coup de pied, remember in the past couple weeks especially towards the beginning, we were really talking about making sure that your foot is almost as uh, articulate as your hand can be. Yes, which means acknowledging that demi-point, that metatarsal movement. So you have to pass through that. Yeah, da, 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 da. so it almost licks off the floor as opposed to just lifting it up in a brick. Lick it off the floor. Closing front. To the back. Closing back, now front. Coup de pied front. So now, baton jeté. Starting in fifth position, we go five, six, seven, two jetés front, one and two, 
a three, a four. Now we go jete, enveloppe to coup de pied. Six, replace seven, open your arms. Same thing to the side. One, closing back. A one, closing front. A five, enveloppe. Seven, open your arm to the back. One, a two, same thing. A three, four, and a five, six, seven, eight. And coup de pied again to balance. Four, five, six, and replace. Reverse. One, a two, three, a four, five, enveloppe, seven, eight. Same thing side, two jetés. Enveloppe, seven, open your arm. One, a two, three, a four, five, enveloppe, seven, open your arm. Coup de pied again. One, two, balance, three, four, five, six, seven, and I think we'll stay there to finish. And just test your balance after the music. If you need, while you're there, even while the music's playing, remember a couple weeks ago, we did that little heel lift, so you can try that just to really make sure you're right over the ball of that foot without your weight parked on your heel. Two jetés front. Remember how you put that foot down to the back. about this exercise. The first one is on all the enveloppes, think of it like a fondue. We've talked about this before. So when you come in from a fondue, the first thing that has to go back is that knee has to go back and you're trying to leave your foot behind as much as possible, not leading with your heel. Your knee, it's like someone has a rope behind here and is pulling your knee back that's attached just at the back there. The second thing is, is going down to fifth from coup de pied derriere. I'm not gonna lie, and we've spoken about this before, it's very hard, and when not done well, tis not a good look. Yes, so, the, so you kind of get this happening. You have this lovely, we've worked very hard on getting that toe away at the back, and then all of a sudden we go down and this happens. And then you've remembered your turn out at the end. Yes, so it's, you want to try as much as possible. It's like you snake through your foot again. I relax my toes, I start to relax, then I keep bringing it, and then I close. Yeah, it's that sort of graduated going through your foot that will actually help you avoid some of the harder angles. Yes, when you close fifth position. Now 
we have Ronde de Jambe and Tonlier. So there's a new step that we've not really explored in this one, and I should also warn you that it is a bit of a marathon. It goes one side and then the other side in one piece of music. So you're in for a challenge today. Starting first position, we go five and six and seven and uh, eight. Tendu side, one, plie, slide it out and tallie, three and four. Return to the bar, five, slide, six and uh, seven, arm up, eight. Two round de jambes, nice and slow, and two, and three, and uh, four. Use this arm to anchor you to the ceiling, and six, and seven, and eight. Guess what? We reverse that. One, and a two, tallier, three, close four, and five, plie, tallier, seven, and eight. En dedans, one, two, three, four, six, seven, eight. Second section, tallier front and tallier back, which goes like so. Front and two, you've got lots of time. Three and four, you slide your foot forward to come to a tendu back with your inside leg. Five and six, close seven and eight. And one, and two, plie again. Three, and four, tallie back, and six, and seven. This time you'll have to close fifth. Rising five, there's an extra four counts here. So we have that broken down soutenue. Fifth, first facing the bar, fifth to the other side, and eight. And just scoot your feet to first. Yes? Or, if you feel more comfortable now with fifth position, and you maybe have done tonlier before, then afterwards you finish the rond de jambes, you can come to fifth position, and you can do your tonliers closing fifth position from there. Yes? So, before we dive into this exercise, I just want to talk about tonlier for a second, which literally means time lifted. So, you take your tendu, you plie here, don't go where your foot is, where your toe is, I should say. Try and slide your foot just a little bit beyond and feel like you kind of come up and over into it. So I'm here, plie, I slide, and then I come up and over my foot. Yum. That way. As opposed to coming at it like you're climbing up a hill, you want to look at it like you climb up the hill in the middle and then you come down the hill onto your foot. Now slide your foot. Two round de jambe on the hill. Tendu inside leg back now. Plie. Same thing, up and over. Closing fifth. Soutenu. Facing the bar.
the end. Slide tummy up and over. Close. Inside leg going back. Plie. Up and over. Closing fifth. Sujanu again. to Batman Fondue. Starting in fifth, we go five and a six, and a seven and a eight. Extend to the front. One and two. Onto the pay. Three and four. Plie five. Six. Fondue front. Seven and eight. One more without the arm. One and two, and a three, and four. You close five with the arm in third. Now again, we do something very unorthodox. You know I'm a fan of these things. You swing your arm up to allonger. Six, and a seven, and second. We do the same thing to the side. One, and two, coup de pied, three, and four, plie, five, Six, open seven, and eight. One more coup de pied devant. One, and two, and a three, and four. Close five, swing six, and seven, and eight. Guess what? Same thing to the back. One and two, three and a four, five, six, seven and eight. One and two, three and four, five, six, seven, eight. Then we go to the side just slightly different. One and two, coup de pied devant, three and four. Then we go five and a oh, balance and seven and eight. Now we go up one and two and three and four. Third one, five and six. Tendu front, arabesque to finish. Extend front. Now remember, knee back. So I've realized I may come to regret giving you an email where you can write in questions because I'm bound to get some interesting comments about how deadly that exercise was. Yes, but I'm actually doing this for a, a reason because I find, especially when we're sort of 
at a more beginner level, and we're just starting out in ballet, especially when we get into the center, it's that being able to stand on one leg and really find, oh God, he says, and really find your sense of where you are on one leg. And the more stable you can feel, the more you can really begin to enjoy all the movement that comes along in the center. Yeah, so the more we can build that strength standing on one leg, no matter how arduous it is, I promise you, you will thank me later when we get back into a big studio and we do lots of things in the center. Remember both knees stretch at the same time. This is your rest. Swing it. Starting in fifth position, we go five, six, seven, and this is a little strange. You lift to a small, very low attitude side. Eight. You hold your leg. One, two, and then just let it go. Three, four. Hold five, six, let it loose. Seven, eight. Then we go pity bat maul with your arm in first. One and two. And three, four, and five, and six, and seven. Extend side. So that's seven, and then you extend side on eight. Now, we do frappe front. One and two, like we've been doing. Three, four, and side. Six, and seven, eight. To the back. Two, and three, four, close, five. And all you do is re-prepare your arm. Hold one, two, let it dangle. Three, four, hold five, six, let it dangle. Seven, eight, this time back. And two, three, four, seven in total. Five, six, seven, extend eight. Frappe back twice. This is your reverse. Da, da, seven, eight, front, da, three, four, five, six, seven, to finish. Attitude side. Hold. Let it go. Hold again. Pity back. Front. Stand side. Front. Two side. Two back. Back. 
So before we go to the second side, I just want to talk a little bit more about this Pity Batmon. Yes, so remember, this is still, but not gripped. This is still, but not gripped. Yeah, there's a strong elasticity to those two things so that they stay where they are, and then the party happens at your knee. Yeah, but we're not gripping in here, because if you start to grip in here, I guarantee you, you're actually going to start doing it like this. You're going to start moving it from your hip, because unfortunately, if this is overactive, it's just telling your brain, this is what I should work, where actually, it needs to be loose, but held so you can let that knee do its job. Yeah, remember your knee is a hinge joint. Yes, it only has sort of one plane of movement that it can do. So you just want to allow it to do what Mother Nature intended. Adagio, starting in fifth position. We go five, six, and seven, eight. Devil pay front, one, two, and front, four, hold five, six, and seven, eight. Same thing side, no matter how high your leg is going, make sure it's well placed. Three, four, hold five, six, and seven. Close front. You have to do a little charge up with your arm. Now we're going to do a little circular port abroad just with our upper body going away from the bar. Away, two, and three, four, nice and easy, six, and seven, eight, and again. To enjoy this, three, four, and five, six. You'll have to finish that one a little bit early because you change your feet, turn to face the bar. Seven, eight. Same leg that you were using your devil pace for on the front and side. One, two, and up and back. Four, five, six, and seven. Eight, one more time. One, two, and three, four, hold five, six, and seven, eight. Now we step back to take the opposite leg from the one you were just using and step forward into a lunge and put your knee down. Three, four, and five. If you're near your bar, you can grab onto it. Seven, eight, and if you're feeling good, just put your hands on your knee. Three, four, and we're just going to finish there in a nice hip flexor stretch.
facing the bar. Stepping back. Other leg going forward. If you're feeling good, stick your arm up. Otherwise, just stay and enjoy. So, devlape back before we go on to the other side. Now, I like to give this image of a two-way spiral in your spine when you take a développé back because it sort of counteracts what wants to happen and everything opening this way. So you have to spiral against this hip with your other shoulder. So this is going this way, but this one is coming forward. Or if you want to think about it another way, if you can imagine what this might look like, if your spine was replaced by a double helix. Sort of like a strand of DNA, the two things spiraling against each other, you'll feel that dynamic twist that's necessary for your arabesque. My sincere apologies to those of you who actually have something to do with science and DNA. I'm so sorry that I'm oversimplifying it. Yes, but that's the kind of feeling that we're going for. at the bar. Grand battement. We go. Five, a six, a seven, eight. We plie one. Now with a bit of almost like a fondue coordination, you grand battement out of a plie. One, brush two and three, a four and five, brush six and seven, and eight and one, brush two and three, a four and five, change your head. Eight and one, brush two and same thing to the side. Five, brush six and seven, eight, one, brush two, three, four. You turn to face the bar. Five, six, seven, eight. Same thing to the back. One, brush two and three. A four and five, brush six and seven. Three times in total. One, brush two and three and four. Tendu side, five, six, closing front, eight. So that was front, side, and back, the same thing. Now, we have a little preparation for a pirouette. So with the front leg, one, coup de pied, and three, and four. And five, nice and quick. Six, seven, eight, three times. One, a two, and three, 
four. Now, when you're coming down from that one, think which way your knee is pointing because that's the way you're going to turn. We go five, half turn away from the bar, six and seven to finish. Yes, so I've given you a little insurance policy out of that because you get to actually fall out of it anyway. from me before, you might have heard a crazy word that I've invented, and it's a brie. This is not actually a thing, but it's an amalgamation, or at least that I've amalgamated, brush and plie into the same step. So that's what you want to think about when you're going into this grand battement. Yes, you brie, so the moment you start bending your knees, here I'm already thinking about brushing that foot out. Yes, this is a very important coordination, just generally, because we do it quite a lot in ballet. We do it in assemble, we do it in glissade. Yes, all these steps involve this sort of brie motion. So you really want to think about doing these two things together because it will set you up in a much better fashion for the harder stuff later on. Did you brie? And hang out. Same thing side. Really brushing the floor. Turn to face the bar. Have our little center exercise. Now this is a preparation for pirouette, so I want you to think about that really quick simultaneous coup de pied position that we've been working on throughout the bar. Now this also goes from side to side, so for simplicity's sake I'm going to start on this side of the room so you can mirror me starting with your right leg first. So the leg that's closest to center goes to the back. We go five and six and a seven. Tendu the back leg out to the side. Tendu soutenu. Now, you step up to fifth. One and a two and a three and a four. Two coups de pieds. Five and six and a seven. This one goes behind and a one. And two, and a three, and four, coup de pied, five, and six, and a seven, 
It goes behind. Now, same thing, but now we step up to one leg. One, and two, and a three, and four, you repeat it, five, and six, and a seven, it goes behind, and coup de pied, and two, and coup de pied, and four, and in, and six, and behind, and eight. You can give it a little bit of sassy shoulder with an offer arm there at the end to finish. Fifth. Coup de pied, nice and quick. Put it behind. Woo, try and get it in as fast as you can. Ooh, don't hit a wall. Put it behind. One leg now. Behind last time. So that's all the time we have for episode seven. Thank you so much for joining me virtually in your kitchen, dining room, living room, office, wherever you are. It's so wonderful to have you dancing with me. So like I said at the beginning, uh, we're doing something a little bit different this uh, week starting now, uh, that you can email me any questions that you might want answered. Well, not any questions. I'm not going to get into the meaning of life or anything like that, but uh, anything related to ballet, let's say you might have heard something that I said you want a little more clarification on, or just something about your own technique that you want to ask, hey, even if it's about ballet in general, something you've seen, please feel free to email those in to adultballet, all one word, at nbs-enb.ca and I'll try and answer a couple of them within uh, these videos. And if for some reason we get inundated with lots of requests, we'll do a separate time and I'll answer them for you. Because I'm really looking forward to hearing from some of you. Because I present to you, but I never get to talk to you directly. So, once you've got that done, thank you so much for joining us once again. Uh, we're so happy to have you and for all the support that you've given us thus far. Uh, if you want more information about the ballet school, let's say you're not part of our adult ballet community, yet, uh, you can head over to the Ballet School's website at nbs-enb.ca and find out some more information. But in the meantime, I wish you a very good afternoon, evening, whenever you're doing this class, and I'll see you next time. Have a great one.